What's going on people? We are Tottenham TV here, back here with another update video to bring you today. I hope you're all keeping very sane there in quarantine and in lockdown. Um, I've only got a couple of updates, so it's not going to be too much of a long video, but let's start off with the good news. And finally, there's some trophies to talk about at Tottenham Hotspur, as Tottenham Hotspur Stadium has been named the venue of the year at the Stadium Business Awards 2020. Um, and that is actually the 12th um, industry award that the stadium has picked up since it's opened. So that is absolutely unbelievable work. Who said Daniel Levy is not committed to bringing trophies back to Tottenham Hotspur as he has won 12 trophies for this Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Now I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, absolutely brilliant for the stadium. I think that in this award, they were up against some great stadiums in the Allianz Field in Minnesota, Chase Center in San Francisco, the Coca-Cola Arena in Dubai, the Golden One Centre in Sacramento, um, Lord's Cricket Ground and the Optus Stadium in Perth. So they're up against some uh, monstrous stadiums there and um, it is great news that Tottenham have got over the line finally and won a trophy. Um, so that is it. Tottenham Hotspur has been named Venue of the Year by the Stadium Business Awards by 2020. Let's move on to the next and we want to talk about Jan Vertonghen and he's made some interesting comments. Obviously, he's um, out of contract at the end of this season and uh, at January he was able to speak to clubs outside of England and he stated that he's uh, actually received some, some quite interesting offers. He's also stated in a different article that um, he'd like to learn a new language. So uh, that could be signs that he's going to be out the door at the end of this season. Um, he's also said that the Spanish and Italian leagues are obvious to him and he wants to keep his options open. Uh, he wants to sign for the right club. He still feels he's got more in the tank. He wants to play in the Champions League still. He wants to win honours and he wants to win trophies. And being in the Belgium setup is also still very important to him. So um, he wants to go somewhere where he's going to play week in, week out and in European football, which is interesting. Um, let me know in the comment section below. Do you think Yamatongan will get that big move? Um, he's still open to staying as well, he's saying. I think he's going to weigh up all the options at the end and see what the best one is for him. Um, would you be... Would you be upset if Jan Vertonghen was to leave? Do you think he should be staying? Should we be offering him a new contract? Let me know in the comment section below what you think on the matter. Uh, for me, I think his time at Tottenham's... Um, is up to be honest. I think maybe if we were to keep him, keep him kind of as a squad player, I don't think he, he's good enough anymore to start week in, week out. Um, but maybe he's he is a great person to have around the dressing room, I think. Um, he's a, a very experienced player. He's got a lot to give the younger players in terms of knowledge of the game. His footballing IQ is absolutely second to none. Um, so in terms of him staying at Tottenham, I wouldn't be against it, but I would be against it if we weren't going to sign another centre-back. Um, but yeah, that's that's my bit on Jan Vertonghen, but let me know what your thoughts on Jan are in the comment section below. And last but not least, Deli Ali um, has been bored during quarantine, so he's been, um, you know, doing a lot on social media and what he's been saying, he's been talking about his top three Tottenham goals, which he ever scored. Um, and let's run through them and let's go from number three. And that is his goal at Old Trafford um, in 2019 this season. Absolutely sensational goal. Um, kind of hit it over a player and on the volley hit it in the bottom corner. Number two, he's gone for this his goal at Chelsea at home in 2017. And for his best goal he's ever scored for Tottenham, I think you all know it. It's his goal at Crystal Palace where he absolutely embarrasses a Crystal Palace defender and hits it over his head and on the volley hits a sweet strike into the bottom corner. So those are what Deli Ali thinks are his top three goals. That is my update for today. Tottenham have finally won a trophy. Um, Jan Vertonghen, some interesting comments, um, not knowing whether he's going to stay or leave. And Deli Ali has provided his thinking on what he thinks his top three goals are for Tottenham. Like, subscribe and comment below. And as always, come on you Spurs.